Hey, big BCW show this Friday night at the high school. Tell your friends. Don't need a flyer. I go to every show. Wait, is that you? Uh, what do you mean? Facing Mr. CQ in the main event. It's definitely you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I can see the resemblance, but that guy's a huge indie star. Why would he be out here flyering for a show? Hey, is this weirdo bothering you? He's one of the wrestlers. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Have fun at the show. Yo, I thought wrestlers had money. Why would he be driving around some crappy bug van? See? See? Good point. More proof that I am not who you think I am. Sure. You gotta check out this guy's highlights online. He's going to be a huge star in WWE someday. <laughs> Thanks. That's nice of you to say. I mean, about the wrestler on the poster who is, um, definitely not me. Come on. Let's go. Hope you beat Mr. CQ. I can't stand that guy. Oh, well, maybe I'll see you in the crowd Friday night. I mean, he's a fan. As a fan. Uh, definitely not from the ring. Because I'm not a wrestler. Message from July 12th, 2014. Hey, it's your dad. Sorry I can't make it to your first match tonight. Work's been crazy lately. The Costellos have a heck of a stink bug problem. You wouldn't believe the smell. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to wish you good luck. Don't do anything too crazy and get yourself hurt. But I hope you win. Oh, and we're out of ice cream. So grab some Rocky Road on your way home. By the way, no matter what ends up happening with this whole wrestling thing, I'm proud of you for making it this far. Love you, son. Don't forget the Rocky Road. Hey, I want you to meet Matt Bloom from NXT. Matt, this is my protege, Van Gogh. I'm a big fan, Mr. Bloom. I mean, I've studied all your matches from your run in WWE and Japan. Really great stuff. Thanks. You must be a true student of the game. I try to be. So why do they call you Van Gogh? 
Are you some kind of artist? Not quite. I gave him that name because everywhere he goes, his dad's old work van goes. He practically lives in that thing. Yeah, practically. So what brings you out to our show? I'm here to scout your opponent, Cole Quinn. Cole's great. You won't be disappointed. I'll have my eye on you as well. Wait, really? You're Russell and Cole, so it'll be kind of hard <laughs> not to. Yeah, yeah, good point. Well, I should go get ready. It was nice meeting you, Mr. Bloom, and thanks for coming out to the show. Man, good to see you. Slow your roll, Greeny. Tonight's my big chance to get signed to NXT, so don't do anything to screw it up. <laughs> okay, look, I'm gonna give it everything I have tonight, and we'll see where we stand after that. All I know is I'll be standing in Orlando at the Performance Center. You can continue standing in high school gyms. <laughs> we'll see. How about you worry about facing me tonight, instead of trying to get Matt Bloom's autograph? Suck up.
think I heard a bone break. Somebody call the school nurse. There's so much at stake in this match. Let's just say you never know who's watching at a BCW show. Tonight's attendance is, oh, never mind. Just enjoy the match, everyone.
If I can have your attention for a second, whoever has a red pickup truck with the license plate OCS 732, you're blocking the school nurse's car and she'd like to go home now. These two are going to bring the house down tonight, which is something they've literally done before when they once had a match in an old abandoned house. Mr. CQ is showing why he has attracted interest in promotions all around the world, including WWE. Enjoy him while you can, ladies and gentlemen. If you're wondering where Mr. CQ's opponent got all these sweet moves, you can thank me after the show because I trained him. against the school's code of conduct. These two have the potential to go all night. But I hope they don't, because per the school principal, we have a strict 11 p.m. curfew. Good match, Van Gogh. Yeah, great Thanks. job out there. It means a lot coming from Orlando, you. Orlando, here I come! I'm gonna get a condo on the beach. There's no beach in Orlando. Well, then I'll make sure to furnish my condo with wall-to-wall -wall sand. Before you start making big plans, we have a few things to discuss. Like what? My start date? Future opponents? Waste measurements for the NXT title? Not exactly. To be honest, I'm not a fan of your Mr. CQ character. You need to come up with something different. It's not really a character, but fine. I can come up with something different after I get to NXT. Full disclosure, I don't think you'll be heading to NXT. Not anytime soon, at least. You're just not ready. I was actually more impressed with your opponent over here. Wait, what? So I've decided to offer him an opportunity instead. You'll have a tryout match on an up-and-coming WWE event. Really? Yes. I've been doing this a while now, and I know talent when I see it. Is this some I kind of it. joke? Because you were supposed to be here to scout me and not him. Plans change all the time in this business. That's a good lesson for you to learn. I have to go catch my flight. You and Baron will be hearing from us soon with the details on your tryout match. Don't make me regret my decision. I won't. Thank you. Unbelievable. 
I told you not to ruin this for me, and look what happened. Whoa, all I did was give it everything I had out there, okay? I can't help but that he saw more potential in me. Potential? Or was it your boy Baron here putting you over with him? I always knew that he was your favorite, but I didn't think it would cost me a shot at WWE. This was all Matt Bloom's decision. Do you think I want to see my top guys leave? <laughs> and do you think we want to stay here forever, wrestling in front of a few hundred people for crap money? That's not what I meant. I'm just saying we're building something good here. Besides, if you left, who would design our title belts? I only make your belts because you pay us so little for wrestling. It's so bad teacher's pet over here has to live in his van. I thought that was a joke. I only live in it when times are tough, which is most of the time. Well, that nickname's not as much fun anymore. Look, you just need to trust the process. We're building a brand. And think of it this way. If any of us make it to WWE, it'll be good for everyone. It'll help put BCW on the map and lead to more opportunities. Oh yeah, easy for you to say. You're the one with a WWE tryout match. He's right though. What's the saying? A rising boat will lift all tides? I think it's the other way around. Whatever. Come on, let's drop this thing and bring it in for a BCW handshake. Yeah, no thanks. I'll let you two celebrate alone. Don't worry about him. And congrats! I am truly happy for you! This is way bigger than the high school gym, and the VFW, and the state fair, combined. <laughs> Don't let that bother you. All that matters is the rings the same size. All right, good point, but I assume their rings aren't covered in rust and mysterious stains. Hey, we're working on fixing that. Come on, let's go meet Triple H and uh, try to play it cool. You don't want to recite his entire career history like you did with Matt Bloom. <laughs> <sighs> it wasn't his entire career history. Hey, Hunter! It's been a while. This is my guy that Matt Bloom wanted to bring in for the tryout match tonight. Nice to meet you. You trained him, Baron? I did. He's one of my top students. I'll try not to hold that against him. Look, I've heard a lot of good things. But I want to see you in action tonight before we decide anything. Do you have an opponent for him yet? I do. Surviving in WWE is all about how you handle adversity. So you're going to face the toughest guy we have. Actually, the toughest monster we have. Go introduce yourself to Braun. Don't worry. He won't hurt you. Not until your match, at least. Uh, hey, Bron? I, I just wanted to introduce myself. No autographs. I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm actually your opponent tonight. You mean victim? So how do you want to die tonight? Uh, I'd like to survive tonight, if that's okay with you. What I meant was... In what type of match do you want to get these hands? Uh, tables match could be cool. The owner of our promotion could never afford tables, so we never really got to use them. I can't believe you thought I was actually going to let you choose the type of match tonight. We're gonna do what I wanna do, because I'm the monster among men. 
So it'll be a steel cage match. That way you can't run from me. Steel cage. Great idea. That was my second choice. Hey, I've seen some of your indie stuff online. Not bad. And I can't believe how stupid you are in person. I look forward to watching Braun destroy you tonight. Just make the most of your opportunity, win or lose. Matt Bloom brought you in here because he saw something in you. Just go out there and show him that again. Oh, and try to get some free swag. I'd like a Bootio's lunchbox if you're taking requests. What, like a replica title belt? Of course, just trying to keep the mood light. But if you do see a lunchbox lying around, The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Austell, Georgia, weighing in at 210 pounds, Super Smooth Silva Guy. Weighing in at 385 pounds, Ron Strowman!
I saw this guy pull up in the parking lot today, and he was driving a bug exterminator van. Well, that's appropriate because he's about to get squashed by Braun Strowman. This is actually this guy's tryout match tonight. Need to try it out for him. Be a crash test dummy. Look at this guy. He looks like deer in the headlights. No, no, no. That's the look of someone whose life is flashing before their eyes. the odds this guy can pull off the upset over Braun? One in a billion? One in a trillion? Yeah, uh, so, so you're telling me there's a chance? Have you seen some of this guy's matches on the indies? He's actually pretty good. No, I've got better things to do, like watching puddles evaporate or reading the phone book. Wait, wait, you still have a phone book? Yeah, remind me to hit you with it on SmackDown tomorrow. Do you guys remember Baron Blade? Apparently he trained this guy. Yeah, I can tell. You did a good job out there. Really? Feels like I got run over by a big bearded tank. Think it was enough for him to sign me? I don't know. But no matter what, you always have a home in the BCW. Thanks. Hey, I saw a lot of positive things from you tonight. Most importantly, you didn't seem intimidated by being on the bigger stage or by being locked in the cage with a monster. So with that being said, we'd like to offer you an NXT contract. Look that over and return it at tomorrow night's show. This is amazing, thank you. I would shake your hand, but I think three of my fingers are dislocated. Don't worry about it. Rest up and we'll finalize everything tomorrow night. You did it. I'm shocked. Me too. I just can't believe it. I mean, against all odds. I know. I'll definitely be sad to see you go. You've become one of my top guys. You'll be fine though, right? I mean, you got Cole and the rest of the crew, yeah? Sorry, what, what am I doing? This is your time to celebrate, not to worry about me and BCW. You enjoy the moment. I'm gonna go talk to Triple H about when you might start, so maybe I can get you on one more BCW show. We'll do a big farewell match. It'll be great. Sounds good. I... I'll see you back at the hotel. Congrats. I'm... I'm proud of you. Thanks, Baron. Couldn't have done it without you.
tonight just a one-time thing, or are you signing with WWE? Well, actually, I was literally just offered an NXT contract, and I can't wait to get started. You should just skip NXT and go straight to the main roster. Actually, you know what? Hey, Triple H, you say listen to your audience? Well, the audience is saying that I'm good enough to go straight to the main roster, which actually, I think I proved it tonight by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but... <laughs> oh, oh. proved it tonight by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but... Less than 24 hours after we offer you the opportunity of a lifetime, you get into a fight with a fan outside a WWE event, and there's video. I'd really love to hear this explanation. Look, the fan attacked me first. I was just defending myself. What am I supposed to do, just stand there and get beat up? All we can see is you fighting with a member of the WWE Universe, and that's not good. Well, that's how it happened. You need to understand, this isn't some rinky-dink independent promotion running shows at the Elks Lodge. This is a publicly traded global company. We can't have our WWE superstars getting into fights with fans, and it will not be tolerated. On top of that, you were bashing NXT, saying you were going straight to the main roster. Who in the hell do you think you are? I was just having fun with the fans. I was just about to say that I would be happy to go to NXT, and the fan attacked me. Oh, I bet. This is what I get for trying to do business with one of your guys, Baron. Come on, Hunter. Can't you just find him or something? No, because I can't find him if he's not on the active roster. I'm rescinding the contract offer. Leave the building, or I will have security escort you out. Don't ever... Bring me one of his guys again. This is on you, too. Understood. Remember what I said about making me regret my decision? Congratulations. You did it in record time. Ugh! Hey, this wasn't your fault. I'm sure we'll figure out something else. Now, come on. Grab your stuff. We gotta go. Just a minute. Wakey, wakey, Jake the Snakey. <sighs> it is too early for that to be funny. Sorry, I couldn't wait to tell you the good news. Triple H called and wants to offer me a contract again? No, better. What could be better than that? Well, after news of your NXT contract being pulled hit the internet, your fan fight video went viral. It's over 2 million views now. Sorry, make that 2.2 million. So a whole lot of people have watched me throw my career away. Why is that a good thing? Because controversy creates cash. My phone's been blowing up. Everyone wants to book you now. You're the hottest thing on the indie scene. And based upon the principle of supply, there's only one of you. And demand, like I said, is high. Your rate is skyrocketing. Okay, okay, this 
Could be good. It could be very good. We could turn chicken crap into chicken salad, if you know what I'm saying. I don't think I get it. You're going to stick it to Triple H and WWE by making your own success in the indies. You'll be way bigger than you ever would have been in NXT or WWE, and we'll do it together. So what do you say? Are you in? I mean, what other choice do I have? I'm in. I'm in. All right. Now, go brush your teeth. Your breath is terrible. It's too early for this. Uh, somebody want to explain to me what's going on here? Give me a minute. Welcome to the new reality of BCW. Because of all your online hype, we sold out our usual allotment of tickets a few days ago. But since I'm an entrepreneurial genius, I pulled some strings with the school principal, allowing us to move the show outside, therefore doubling our capacity. <laughs> All right, all right, good work. But that's not all. See those fancy video cameras and that nice gentleman I was just speaking with? Uh, yeah. For the first time ever, BCW will be live streaming our event around the world on pay-per-view. So anyone who's not lucky enough to see Buzz in person can still watch him do his thing from the comfort of their homes for a small but fair fee. Isn't it great? Uh, yeah, it's great. Question, who is Buzz? Oh, <laughs> that's your new nickname. You know, because of all the social media buzz you're generating. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Buzz? <laughs> it's all turning into chicken salad, my friend. Uh, yeah, speaking of making things not crappy, have you seen Cole? I feel like I should talk to him before our match tonight. Well, he's around here somewhere. And, oh, by the way, your match with him tonight is now Falls Count Anywhere. Thought you two could have some fun with all the extra space out here. <laughs> fun, yeah. You really have an odd definition of the word fun. <laughs> From inside the ring to behind the scenes, you're about to be up to no good with former WWE superstar Hood Benson and his co-host Pete Clark. Uh, all right, yeah, Pete, I, I'm, I'm just saying, Pete, you can't get into a fight with a fan, no matter what the circumstances are. Oh, but Hood, the you know, fan I, attacked I, him I, first. What was he supposed I, to do? Yeah, hey, hey, look, 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 look. I, I, I get it. You know, it's, it's, it's a tough situation to be in. You know, fans are crazy. You know, and, oh, yeah. and 30 years ago, I, I probably would have done much worse than this <laughs> yes, guy you did. Would. And, you know, uh -huh. ended up in jail. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but, 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 but he has to realize that WWE is the big leagues. Yeah, well, you know, this is not. This is this is this. this 
it's not in the garage. You know, this this is there's zero tolerance for that sort of thing. There's no ifs, ands, or, or buts about it. And then that that's why Triple H had no chance to but to pull his contract. No choice. Well, I would have liked to see him get a second chance. A, se a second chance. Yeah. Yeah, he, he he ain't even had he he ain't even signed the contract yet for his first chance. All right. <laughs> you know, he 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 didn't even earn a right for a second chance. Okay, fine. <laughs> but let's talk about what's happened since then. The videos of the fight have gone viral, and BCW is capitalizing on the notoriety uh, by having their very first online pay-per-view. Uh, so it yeah. seems as if Baron Blade and his protege are making a positive out of this, no? Uh, I, I, I will give him credit for that. Right. You, know, you, you gotta strike while the iron's hot. Yeah. Right now, this this guy's lava hot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't be talking about him otherwise. Mm -hmm. So, are you gonna order the pay-per-view? I do want to see what this guy's all about in the ring, you know, so I was thinking maybe you could order it at your house and I'll come over to watch. Yeah, I knew that was bring coming. Bring some chips and everything. Hey, yeah, what, yeah. What, what do I always say? It's, it's not how much you make, it's how much you save. Yeah, by mooching off your friends. Exactly. Well, not, you know, hey, look, I'll get the next one. <laughs> oh, famous <laughs> last words. Sure you will. Let's take a minute to hear from our advertisers who pay for this show and also allow me to afford to have them use my friend. <laughs> His voice was the soundtrack for the biggest matches in squared circle history. And now he breaks down the latest happenings in the world of pro wrestling. Get ready for enticing conversations with legendary wrestling commentator Jack Tice. Former wrestler and now any promoter Baron Blade has been in the news along with his protege from BCW, who reports say had a contract offer on the table from WWE until he got into a fight with a masked fan outside the arena after his tryout match. Now word is Triple H was furious and pulled the contract offer the next day. We uh, tracked down the person who recorded the video of the altercation that went viral, and uh, he had this to say. I was recording the video on my phone when the guy in the mask came out of nowhere and attacked him. I didn't get a real good look at the mask guy, because it happened so fast, but from the way he was fighting, it seemed like he knew what he was doing. Like he wasn't just some regular fan. Interesting first-hand account on what went down, but uh, I wanted to hear from the man who's now capitalizing on this controversy. So uh, I reached out to BCW owner Baron Blade. Uh, here's a preview of what he had to say. Jack, you've been in this business for a long time, so you know it was once possible for a wrestler to be successful outside the WWE umbrella. And that's what I'm trying to do with BCW and Buzz. That's what we're calling him now, by the way, on account of all the buzz he's generating. But back to my point, which is, who knows what would have happened if Buzz signed with NXT? It might have been two or three years before he was called up to Raw or SmackDown, and there's no guaranteeing that would have even happened at all. But I'm helping him make his own success right now. BCW is small and we can move fast to capitalize on all the attention. WWE is this huge behemoth of a company where you need to hold 25 meetings to make a decision that we can make in two minutes. Oh, I know all about that, believe me. And I'm not saying that BCW is gonna take down WWE. I mean, I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. All I'm saying is that guys like Buzz and Cole Quinn have a lot more opportunities right now with me than they might ever have with WWE. Very interesting comments from Baron Blade, who is about to hold BCW's very first internet-only pay-per-view. Uh, Buzz, as Baron's calling him, has made his name online, and they're sticking with that platform for their show. A smart move, in my opinion. Uh, coming up, you'll hear much more from my conversation with Baron Blade, including who he thinks might have attacked his protege, Buzz. You don't want to miss out on that. But first, a word from our sponsors. 